a study plan for the MRCS Part B. I know it might be quite overwhelming sometimes to plan a very huge curriculum in um, a very short time before the exam, specifically if you're working as well. So in this video, I'm trying to make it easy and I'm going to share this timetable or study plan in the comments as well. So you'll be able to have access to it. Feel free to study from whatever the notes that you are reading from. It should be helpful. It's covering all the possible scenarios and possible questions um, in the exam. But I'm just giving you the titles, of course. And the nice part about it as well is that the study plan is all linked to my YouTube videos. Um, so um, I'm going to show you in a bit. But basically, you're going to read the scenario. Um, you're gonna you're gonna know what you need to study to today, and you're gonna have access to some videos as well, whether from my channel or other channel like Geeky Medics or any other channel as well. So, like I said, it's a uh, it's based on a spaced repetition technique over um, twelve weeks or three months. Uh, ideally, you should study per day for two to three hours uh, if you do have the time, but if not. Uh, you might need to extend it a little bit. So, I'm just sharing at the beginning just to, to be able to get the best out of this. You should be following the, the channel. Um, so you'll be able to watch the videos. And also you can be part of the community as well and join my Telegram channel. Um, I'm not particularly sharing notes on this channel. But sometimes we offer some uh, free mocks and things like that. Also, you, you need to start the timetable by watching the videos uh, from my YouTube channel or, of course, feel free to watch from anywhere else as long as you're able to cover the topic uh, or maybe if you're happy with your background and your knowledge, you can even start reading the notes directly without having to watch the videos. Um, well, so... Just an advice, uh, uh, print the timetable, it's 28 pages, so it's a quite long timetable or quite long study plan, um, but detailed, it's not just long for no reason, it's long but detailed. Um, so print it and start following it day by day and week by week. Um, so like I said, it's 11, uh, it's 12 weeks and from week 11 to 12, you should really be reading the um, uh, previous recalls if it's possible. Um, and of course, do not discuss your exam with anyone as per the Royal College guidelines. But uh, if, you, if you have access to any sort of recalls, it would be nice to start reading that. Or maybe take any advice from anyone who's senior who passed the exam before. Or if you're attending a new course or anything like that, this should be really helpful as well. So I also made um, something called the week before the exam series and it's linked down there as you can see. So um, it's, um, it's basically a series that um, I'm trying to answer the questions the way I would do in the exam. I've done this series before taking the exam uh, but I've answered exactly the same way and I managed to pass uh, with pretty satisfying score. Um, so follow this playlist it has lots of videos uh, on all the parts including anatomy uh, surgical physiology surgical pathology and also acute care as well um, so it will be helpful to watch as at least you will have one example of one person who passed the exam and how did they answer in the exam finally like i said uh, you will have um, uh, some links to geeky medics uh, directly uh, on what you need to watch instead of just searching every time so just click the link and you will be able to to see uh, or watch what you would like to uh, to watch I strongly recommend if it's possible to um, attend doctor's exam uh, course uh, or um, uh, at least by any way if they do have access uh, online to the videos for examination is very interesting and very organized and uh, being done effectively and efficiently in a timely manner. But I wouldn't say it's mandatory to have this. If not, Geeky Medics is amazing and um, uh, leaving really good examination as well. Well, so 
like I said, so it's a spaced repetition technique. And this means you will study the curriculum twice or three times. Um, and that means maybe in week one you are studying anatomy. And later in week five or six, you're going to be restudying anatomy again. And in week 12, you're going to be reading anatomy again, something like that. So I'm going to go and throw an example for maybe only two weeks. And then I'm going to mention the last two weeks as well to show how does this really work. So as you can see, this is week one. And this is, like I said, you need to print that. Uh, or if you're happy with using an online version, that should be OK as well. So week one, um, you have seven days, of course. So day one, day two, day three, day four, and so on until day seven. So I'm telling you in week one, you need to study uh, spine anatomy and upper limb anatomy and uh, uh, start by watching some videos uh, in um, day one. So as you can see here, this is the link. If you're going to click the link, it's going to take you to the video that you need uh, to watch, which is basically Spinal anatomy revision in 12 minutes. So you're just going to watch this video, take some notes, and then, uh, of course, feel free to read the notes that you're starting from. The same way. Um, so I'm not going to show you further, but it's basically the same way. You're going to click the link and it will take you to the video that you need to watch. And day two, um, take it easy and start reading uh, the spine anatomy and also the upper limb anatomy and the timetable or the schedule will go the same way. This is a link. We'll take the link, watch the lower limb anatomy video in that day and then moving on. OK, week two, we're continuing um, uh, head and neck anatomy. And also um, there was some mocks that I've done uh, with uh, some of our colleagues as well who were taking the exam. So again, it's going to be a good chance for you to um, check how other people answer the exam as well. So again, it's a link. You can watch it uh, and uh, try to test yourself while you're doing this and then compare your answer with uh, other people answer and also the standard answer uh, in um, these mocks. OK, and then as you can see, I also took in consideration the rest. So day seven is a rest, uh, in my opinion. It's crucial to, to take the rest as a rest day and don't really read anything, um, just chill and um, you know, try to, to avoid books in this day. But of course, everybody is different. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, if you want to study, feel free to do. Again, and, and week three, we're moving on to pathology and it will move this in pathology, the interesting part again, uh, as you can see, you will find some has links and others don't have link. Um, as, um, um, it's possibly that the, the area that doesn't have any link, um, I haven't covered them or I have covered them, but I couldn't really look for the videos because there are more than 200 videos. But I'm pretty sure that pathology and acute care were covered, whether it's a single video or in um, some videos that um, was for many stations at the same time. So as you can see, um, in, for example, on topic one, you need to cover the abscess and you will find all the questions on um, the YouTube video. You will keep going like that. So on day one, you watch the videos to get some deep understanding to the topics. And on day two, you're going to read these topics and uh, do a bit of watching as well, but not, not a lot and so on. Um, and the application I'm using, which you can um, do as well, so I can tick here um, in every section what I've done and what I haven't. So it will tell me when exactly I've done it and um, when do I need to um, revise it next time. So um, in your case, if you're just taking the PDF, uh, so just tick it by maybe a pen or if you're using any online version, the PDF is editable. Uh, so you can edit this PDF and um, uh, of course, you know, you can take it uh, electronically as well. Again, the timetable will go in the same way, um, covering all the topics that can possibly be covered uh, for a surgical doctor. And uh, week four, I think we're going to be moving into acute care uh, soon. And um, yeah, this is acute care. And then week five again, acute care, 
and keep going like that until you take some rest here in day five in week five and then week six you are gonna start reading anatomy again and that's this paced repetition so you had some sort of three weeks off from anatomy and then you come back to anatomy again and start reading it of course at this point you don't really need to re-watch the videos but it might be advisable to start watching the mocks again or the week before the exam at this stage all right and then moving forward in week seven um, so again this is history and examination i've done some of them i haven't done the others so you can watch what's there and the others you can just study them uh, or maybe at some point i'll start making these videos again and also mentioning that this um, study plan is going to be um, continuously updated and if there is any new version that i've done i will of course um, upload it as well yeah so it's moving like that as you can see uh, then history, communication, examination, and then in week eight, coming back to pathology again. And you're going to repeat the cycle of doing pathology and also doing acute care again. And But here it's going to be a little bit more extensive. You're, you're reading at least like 15 scenario in a day. Yeah, so it will keep moving like that. Week nine, and then repeat examination, repeat communication, repeat history but of course more extensively, uh, that's in week 9, until we reach week 11, which is, in my opinion, quite important. Here, um, you've utilized all the previous notes, you uh, have studied all the station, um, and um, here you need really to uh, focus on how to answer the questions. That's why it's very important to watch the mocks at this stage, and also to um, uh, do water the week before the exam sessions and of course uh, try to practice your answer with someone who's available or taken the exam with you all right then uh, at the end in week 12 uh, if you're able to do a bit of uh, previous questions if it's available anywhere um, uh, that would be helpful uh, but if not um, um, it, it should be fine um, you're a surgeon at the end and you should be able to answer most of the surgical questions all right so that's the timetable for the MRCS part B I hope you find this helpful and if you got any question leave me a comment uh, so I'll do my best to answer it